All right, you guys, uh, I wanted to uh, do this quick video here real quick. This is a Global Trust crank stand, the ST-157 with a load capacity of 150 kilograms at uh, 330 pounds. And it goes to uh, 15 feet, seven inches. Already got three of the outriggers actually on the ground. Actually, they're actually folded out. They're not really touching the ground just yet. It does have casters, so the brakes are actually locked on here. So you have this handle right here that I actually, you can kind of carry it and pull it in a dolly mode if you wish to or get it through doors easier which is pretty nice this knob right here you have to turn this to where it'll stay up but when you're transporting it you, you want you don't want this knob um, in this position because it can break off easy uh, so this knob uh, pretty much turns it and it pretty much cranks up you get the point make sure you loosen these brakes here so way you can uh, actually crank the stand up and you just pull this first pin out and you'll crank and then this top portion, this inside top portion will go out first and then it'll lock and you pull the bottom one out, this uh, pin out and then it'll start cranking up. If you actually break these pins, which can happen uh, when you have people out there to do user, uh, user error, you know, you can just unloosen this part right here and pop a new pin on there. Uh, very easy repair. This is the cable inside here. You always want to make sure you check the cables to make sure they're not frayed or torn. Uh, so that way you, know, you can ensure safety of you and your guests or your DJs or band, whatever you're using these for for theater. So first and foremost, you're going to have to pull this cotter pin out, slide this bolt out, and it will go down. Okay. Uh, typically, you'll put it on the very last one. So I'm doing this with one hand. So excuse if you the camera shakes. So you lift up on the stand back here, and you slide the bolt through that last hole, and then you slide the carter pin back in. Okay. Just give you a heads up. You do not want all the weight on the casters common sense so you really want to lower these outriggers with these uh with this metal rod right here so you're just going to turn this until you see it lower to the ground and all four of these to where it's tight okay and when, when all four of them are tight you'll notice that the casters can swivel so i'll show you that once i'm done All right, so now you guys, now that we got all four outriggers down, you should be able to swivel these wheels, all four wheels. So all four wheels are off the ground, as you can see here in, in this video. Because again, you don't want to put your weight on wheels. So I, I know some people who has um, bought these stands or similar other brands, um, and they left them on the wheels and they wonder why the wheels broke. So these wheels are for transporting the stand not uh, putting all the weight on it as far as all your lighting goes. All right, so once you have all four outriggers down, you use something like this, a leveler. So this leveler will pretty much tell you if it's even or not, or, or not even, which in this case, it's not. As you can see, the bubble is on the far left-hand side there. So you always wanna make sure it's even um, at all times. So we have to lift the right-hand side, which is that outrigger there, a little bit more, and it'll push this in over to the left a little bit. But we're not gonna do that in this video. I just wanted to give you a heads up that this is uh, something that comes very handy. Unfortunately, this stand does not have a leveler built into it. And, um, but these particular two stands, I bought these two um, May of uh, 2017. Um, I've had several of these stands. I just wanted to do this video real quick before I actually so these last two to a buddy of mine here locally but uh anyway that is the global trust st 157 so all right guys so when you get ready to uh lift the outrigger back up i'm gonna show you a video of the guys doing it at an event we did so basically you're gonna take this loosen it don't go all the way in because then you're gonna have a hard time putting that pin back in that, that top hole the very top 
on the far right hand side. So you pull the collar pin out of course, which is already done here. You lift it up. And you're basically gonna line it up till you see that, that hole there. And you can put your collar pin through there. And it'll look something like this. Once you get it through the hole, you slide your collar pin back through. And again, you will come all the way up with it by turning this rod again. Sorry, I'm doing it with this one hand, but you, you get it. So you just keep turning it. And then to where it's touching. It's hard to do this with gloves on the camera in your hand. But it'll be touching it against this Velcro. You don't want to make sure that you want, you don't want these really loose, so you will tighten them more. But you don't want these loose to where they're flapping back and forth left to right, because you'll bend these up, turn the legs up. We transport these stands always standing up, ensure the longevity of them, make sure the outriggers are not damaged at all, which is very important. And then you want to make sure once this is cranked down, this is actually dangling, and you pretty much loosen this to where it's dangling, so that way it won't get ripped off. But if you lay this down in your truck or anything, make sure you don't lay it down on the handle. A lot of people tend to do that and they end up breaking these, these handles off or breaking this off. Then you have to crank it with just this part and it is a pain in the, you know what. At least try to transport these as standing up as much as possible if you're able to stand them up in your trailer or your truck. So you guys, um, the reason I, I'm in putting a lot of emphasis and making a big deal about standing up, you know, these stands, your crank stands should be treated like your babies because this is something that you're gonna be cranking up some really heavy equipment over people's heads or even over your head, stage, lighting, whatever. So if the stand is damaged in any kind of shape or form that it's affecting its performance, you definitely don't wanna use it because uh, you, you can have yourself a lawsuit on your hands or even be charged for manslaughter. So um, you know, uh, you, again, you wanna make sure the cables are not uh, torn which I've never had that problem but you know user error is usually the number one problem when it comes to uh, crank stands that are damaged uh, and user error can be as not storing them properly uh, not transporting them properly so we transport these in the truck standing up strapped to the side of the uh, truck and never had a problem with any of these stands. Even our stands that are have no cables, or I got the direct drive in them. So um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video because it's getting too long. But put your comments below. If you hate this video, put thumbs down. If you love it, thumbs up. I don't care. And do what you do best. Practice and enjoy. And God bless. Peace.